Hello, and thank you for joining me. My name is Eileen Smith, and welcome to another edition of Learn to Live Stream with Miss Eileen. Yay! Today, we're going to talk about the new feature that has come to YouTube, which lets everybody, no matter how tech savvy you are, go live with your webcam. You can go live from desktop now without any encoding software or any really techie skills. All you need is just you, some good lighting, a microphone, which we'll talk about, and a great webcam, which we'll also talk about on today's stream. So first, let's get started with what the screens look like. So I'm just going to do a screen share. I'm actually not using the webcam option. I'm using the events option, which is also known as Hangouts on Air, because I want to be able to screen share. So I want to show you the first screen that you'll see when you click that live button. You'll see this live stream screen and you'll be able to go ahead and fill in your title and say whether you want the video to be public or unlisted. So my first, my first tip for you is when you're using this live stream option with YouTube is be sure to click on more options. Okay, and I'm going to show you in the next screenshot, I'm going to show you why you want to click on more options. And I want to say hi to my friend, Aunt Capone. Thanks for joining me, Aunt. Okay, now in this next screenshot, I'm going to share why you need to click on more options. This is really important. And I want to let you know, give you a heads up before you do your first live, because I know it's really exciting and it's so easy to do that. I know people are ready to rush and do it, but there's one little caveat that I want you to notice. If you don't click on the more options, you will not see this option to change the webcam. Now, if you've done any kind of live video before, if you've done live streaming on Facebook maybe, or if you've even done other options with YouTube Live, you'll know that it's really important not to use your built-in webcam. Now, if you have no other options, then go ahead and use your built-in webcam. But most folks who've done any live streaming before from desktop will know that it's really important to have a nice webcam and also to use a different mic, an external microphone. For example, I'm using the Logitech C920. I also have another webcam, which I'm going to show you in a second. And I also use an external microphone. Now, the microphone I use is the ATR2100. I'm going to show you some other options for that in a minute as well. So let's get started sharing the webcams, okay? Now, the C920 Logitech webcam is so popular, and I think it's pretty much the de facto webcam for folks that want to, you know, do live streaming. Now, if you're on a PC, it's perfectly fine. That Logitech works with PC, Chromebooks, all of that. No problem. It's a USB webcam. And it's just like this one I'm going to show you here. You know, it just plugs in the one that I want to show you, because I can't show you the one I'm using because I'm using it, right? <laughs> the one I want to show you is the C922. That's an upgraded version of the um, Logitech. And it's the latest one that they've come out with that just does the 1080p video. Okay, when I say 1080p, don't mean to get too technical. That's just the size of the screen that you can get. And it's very good resolution that you can get. So I was over on Facebook this morning and I have to give a shout out to my friend, Robert Lewis. He's known as Lend2Tex 
and he helped me work out some issues or some concerns that I had about, do I need to upgrade from the Logitech C920 up to the Logitech C922? So now I'm gonna do another screen share and you tell me what you think. Now, um, this was just this morning, so be, be forewarned that, of course, I have on the same outfit. <laughs> All right, hang on. Let me get rid of that other screen share first. And now let me just screen share the C920, which is what you're seeing now. Okay? So, there, you know, it's bright. You have to have good lighting in order for your, you don't want your room to be dark if at all possible. If you're sitting at your computer, right, you're going to want to make sure that the lighting is good. You have a webcam. And now I'm going to show you the difference between that C920 and the C922. So let's close that one out. And let's open up the C922. Actually, it's the C922X. Now, if you can remember the other one, there really isn't that much difference. And so since I already have the C920, I really didn't need to upgrade to the C922X. Now, maybe if I was doing a different kind of live stream, if it wasn't just me on the webcam, right, then maybe I would need something with a little bit more finer detail. In fact, I did see that there were a little bit more stray hairs that were coming through. I could see them in the C922. That's not the kind of fine detail that I want, right? <laughs> so you got to think about that. So it's really important that even though we have this super easy option to go live on YouTube now, that you really think about not just using your built-in webcam for a Mac, that would be your FaceTime cam, or um, depending upon what type of a PC or Windows machine that you have, it would be that built-in. And those cams are really made for like when you're just talking to, you know, maybe someone at work or you're just talking to a family member and the quality is not that important. Whereas with a cam like this, you're going to get really nice resolution and you have to combine that with good lighting. Now, what's also very important is going to be your audio quality. And like I said, right now I'm on the ATR 2100. And by the way, I meant to mention to you guys, if you want to see the gear that I use, you can go over to my Amazon shop. And also I have that link in the description here. So let me just show you the Amazon shop. So that's amazon.com slash shop. slash Eileen Smith. So here you'll see this gear. Here's that Logitech camera that right there. And it's the C920, which is the one that I really recommend. Okay. And so we're going to, go, we're going to talk about now some of the other gear and this gear that we're going to go over is also going to be good for podcasting as well. So I see, oh, Kamari and beauty bubble are in the audience now. Hi guys. And yeah, there, you really don't need to upgrade. Kamari said, there's no need to upgrade because he has a C920. You really don't have to. I mean, you know, I did the side I did the two screenshots this morning and really you couldn't tell the difference. Like if I didn't tell you that I switched to a different webcam, you wouldn't know. So I kind of was like, wow, I wasted my time unplugging the webcam, plugging the other one in, making sure that I was on the right settings. Right. But if you do have just your built in webcam, I really encourage you to upgrade and it's just going to make for a more pleasurable experience for your viewers as you know, and when you look back on the things, your videos later on, you'll, you know, be a little bit happier about them. <laughs> okay. So the next thing I want to talk about is the microphones I already mentioned the ATR 20, 
2100 right and that's over in the amazon shop hey mcbonsai great so the next upgrade that you're going to want to make and this is really important like i said the microphone right but you also want to make sure that you have some type of a windscreen or a pop filter okay and this is a windscreen they are very inexpensive and here's the pop filter that i use when i'm recording the podcast and that you'll also find this stuff right like i said in my amazon shop and that link is in the description of the video here okay and what that does it helps eliminate what they call plosives <laughs> plosives and that means mainly when you say peas and they call it popping your peas. So if you don't have that filter on your mic, the mic will tend to pick up the part of the pea that you don't want it to, unless you intentionally try not to say pea too loud, like I did just then, but that's annoying, right? And <laughs> trying to remember that during the course of a live stream, that's just one less thing you wanna have to worry about, okay? So, um, I'm going to show you some other microphone options. Now, this is the mic. The one that I'm getting ready to show you next is the one that I use when I'm recording the podcast. Now, the ATR 2100 is here at my workstation. So I use that when I'm recording on my YouTube or any other live streaming that I'm doing. Because, you know, I also live stream on Twitch and I live stream on Facebook and Periscope, right? We use Ecamm Live for that. That's software. We didn't get to that yet. But this is the mic that I'm going to show you is the one I use when I'm recording the podcast. Most of the time I use Anchor. But if I'm not using Anchor, I'm also uh, using another mobile app. And that's why I like this mic because it works well with mobile devices. So let me just reach over. Excuse me. Cord got a little tangled up there and that's the at or the audio technica 2020 also very affordable usb microphone okay so here's the dongle for it now if you have the iphone 6 or 8 you're going to need this but that comes right with the iphone but if you don't have it or if you lost it or misplaced it or loaned it to somebody who didn't return it <laughs> Don't worry, I have that also in my Amazon shop so you don't have to look around for it. Okay, Kamari says, yes, what he has, yeah. And so there's only certain mics, guys. I actually did a whole YouTube live about this, but I'm gonna tell you here. If you're gonna record with an external mic on your phone, now, that's not what we're talking about today. We're, we're really talking about this webcam feature, but I just wanna mention this. You can, because you can use this external mic with your phone as well, but all mics are not created equal and you have to have a mic with phantom power and you also want to be able to hear, like say if you're on Anchor, right? We talk about Anchor a lot. So you, you want to be able to hear things back, you know, because I have that problem sometimes when I am recording a Instagram story, I use my lavalier mic the Rode Smart Lab Plus. But when I have that mic plugged in, I can't hear. So if I want to look back at what I just recorded, it gets to be a little bit of a hassle. But if I record using this, I don't have that problem. I can hear when I'm using this Audio Technica. So this is a good all around mic. Okay. So I definitely wanted to show you that one and a very good quality. And Kamari says he must be copying off of me. Of course you are, young man. <laughs> okay, just dropped the mic. Mm, I didn't mean to drop the mic though, I'm not done. <laughs> I have another mic I wanna show you guys. I'm gonna show you the one that everybody always talks about. Now, I actually don't use this mic. So I gotta put that disclaimer out there. But I know my friend Larry Snow, I don't think Larry's in the, in the audience yet, but Larry Snow uses this mic and a lot 
of YouTubers use this mic. And that is the Blue Yeti, the infamous Blue Yeti. <laughs> and Blue Yeti, if you're going to use this for your broadcast, your YouTube live with webcam, all right? It's great. One thing I love about, I do love about this is that it's got a built-in mic stand. You notice when I was showing you the ATR 2020, I mean, the, yeah, the AT2020, that's an external little stand that you have to screw on and, you know, makes it a little less stable if you're not careful. This is already built in. Okay, so, well, you know, you can detach it if you want, but normally you wouldn't detach it unless you were putting it on a boom arm or something like that. But that's getting high tech. We're trying to keep it low tech, right? So this is around a hundred bucks. And I do think I have that in my Amazon store because I know it's so popular. Um, there's a couple of settings that you have to make sure that you have it on and you want to keep the gain low. Because I've heard that that is one thing that causes problems with that microphone. So now I know somebody out there is saying, I don't have $100 for a microphone, but I do want to upgrade, right? And the ATR2100 runs at about 60. You know, they put that one on sale a lot too. So, so just keep checking back. But this one that I'm going to show you, which is the CAD USB mic. All of my mics are USB because I don't do mixers. But if, you know, if you're techy enough, go ahead and get that mixer. And this one is super cool. Very, very lightweight. This one is the U37. And now this one is only about 30 bucks, 39. It might be 39 box but so lightweight super good like if you were traveling this would be great for that <clears throat> now what it's not good for it's not good to use with the uh your phone remember i said earlier that if you wanted to use it for podcasting as well and you wanted to do it on your phone <clears throat> excuse me let me take a swig. You know, you can make sure you have to make sure that the mic has that phantom power and that one doesn't. But perfect for this scenario that we're talking about today, which is YouTube's new webcam options. Okay. And since a couple of you guys got here late, I will just really quickly show those screenshots again before we go into some more of the gear that we need. And so let me open up, you know, you just click that little plus button at the top right hand side of the screen. And then you're going to get this window. You're going to get this option here, right? Where you enter your title and you change it from unlisted to public. But my, my warning here to everybody is make sure you click on more options. Very important to click on more options. And the reason for that, I'll show you in this next screenshot. The reason you want to click on more options, because if you don't, you're going to be stuck with your built-in webcam and your built-in microphone. So all this gear that I'm showing you, you know, won't matter. And you'll look back later on and say, oh my gosh, I was on the wrong mic. You know, if this is your first time ever doing a live stream, you'll just be happy that you did it. <laughs> but if you're someone who's done live streaming before, and if you're somebody who's aware of those differences in the audio volume, so what happens with these built-in webcams and built-in microphones is that they don't pick up the broader range of, in the case of the camera, they don't pick up the lighting correctly. They don't, um, the, it looks fuzzy. It's maybe a little out of focus. It's just low resolution. And with the microphone, it picks, it sounds 
<clears throat> the sound quality is not robust. It's very thin and echoey. Okay. And like I said, you don't have your pop filter. So that has a lot to do with the positioning of the mic. Because the mic, like in my case with the Mac, the built-in mic is up there with the webcam. So that's nowhere near. So there's just... It's just not made for that. It's only made for, like I said, something that you're doing at work where, you know, people don't have a choice. <laughs> they have to listen to you because it's work, right? Can you go through the settings for the Yeti as I have not but using it? Okay. Now, this is what you have to be very careful of on the Yeti. All right. And I am no pro with the Yeti because I told you guys I don't use it. <laughs> The top button here is the gain. What does that mean? The gain means more of your volume is coming into the mic and being transmitted to the computer, okay? You don't want to have too much gain. Thanks for coming, Guy Cook. Bye. Talk to you later. So you want to you're going to you want to test this before you ever go live, don't use this mic, plug and play, and then just go live. You can do that with the ATR2100, and you can do that with the AT2020. But with this mic, you got to make sure that you have the right gain. And there's all these different options here, the second button. And I'll tell you what they are And uh, in, in layman's terms, because like I said, I don't use this mic. There's an option there to make sure that you do pick up uh, more of the room ambiance. So if let's just say Kamari, since Kamari is in my town, let's just say he came over and we said, yeah, let's record a podcast. We could put this mic in the middle of the table, right? And I could be on one side of it. He could be on the other side of it and it would pick up. Might not sound like the greatest thing, but it will. So. One of these settings, and I'm not going to say which one because I don't want to be wrong. <laughs> one of them is the one that will do that. Then there's the other one. There, there's actually three of four of them there all in total, and I don't know them all. But uh, there's a couple of great YouTube videos out there about how to use the Blue Yeti. And in fact, Brian G. Johnson. I highly recommend the video that he's done. I've seen that video, the uh, overview of the Blue Yeti done by some podcasters and by some professionals. But because Brian speaks in layman's terms, <laughs> he is who I recommend to tell you how to set up and how to use. Because another part of using a microphone is your technique of how you're speaking into the microphone as well. So Brian G. Johnson has that video. And so I will be sure to add the link to Brian G. Johnson's video in the um, comments or the description of this video, because I don't want to steer you down the wrong path with the Yeti. I just know if that's the mic you have, it can work. However, that's not the mic I recommend. I recommend the ATR2100 or the AT2020. And if you're on a budget, and you can't afford either one of those, I would go with the CAD U37 USB. That was a good mic. I plugged it into the computer and used it a couple times. I even recorded the podcast with it. But I really wanted a mic that I could use for um, using my mobile device. And that one doesn't work with the mobile device. And so... That was a little disappointing. <laughs> and the Blue Yeti doesn't work with the mobile device either. So it's another reason why I don't recommend it. You know, I recommend using the AT2020 because it works beautifully with the mobile device as well as with the computer, you know, PC or Mac. So that's that's my choice. That's my real choice for, you know, a multifunctional microphone. Now, the ATR2100 didn't do that well. For me, on the iPhone 8 Plus, it didn't do well. So the sound wasn't that great. So that's why I stick with the AT2020. Audio-Technica 2020. All right. 
guys. <laughs> so like I said, now, if you're going to use that uh, external microphone, just remember to get that pop filter. This And, you know, they're very inexpensive. I think this one may be eight bucks or something like that. You know, we can go over to the store and see for sure. So I'm pretty sure I have that one in my Amazon store. Uh, it's probably down the page a bit because I keep adding stuff here. And sometimes Amazon moves things around. Okay, there it is uh, right over top of that. $10.69. It's a clip-on. Okay, so... It's worth it. But then you these little foam balls, now you got to make sure you get the right size for your mic. Like, for example, this one, this foam windscreen is great for the ATR2100, but it didn't fit on the AT2020, this here. And it was only $1.69, right? In fact, I have a different one on my ATR2100 than this one. So that's what you have to be mindful of when you see these windscreens. When you go into Amazon and you're looking at the windscreens, make sure it's big enough to cover your mic. So what I actually did was cut one. <laughs> yeah, check out Brian's video, McBonesai. I actually cut one. Like on this one here, I forgot when I was showing you this mic here, it had it on there. So see this one, let me put this down. This one has a much smaller opening than this one. So yeah, you got to be mindful of that. And so let me go back to, to my favorite one for podcasting. The AT2020. And I literally have to pull it down and it still doesn't cover the whole diaphragm of the mic. Because remember the this diaphragm is where the sound goes into the mic, everything that's behind this mesh. So you really want one that covers the whole mic. And I haven't seen any long neck ones. So in this case, I don't use this. I use this. Okay. And this has the clamp. So I can just clamp it onto my desk. And actually I sit at a desk back in my my yoga room, you've seen the tour. If you haven't seen the tour of the yoga room, you have to check out that video as well. But when I do that, actually in my yoga room, I have a 1950s sewing machine. And it's a desk style sewing machine. And that's where I we record the po podcast. And that sewing machine desk has a drawer. And I literally open the drawer a little bit so I can put this on the drawer and then you just tighten it up and then because this is flexible I can <laughs> and so that's what I do and you know I like the sound of that that AT2020 when I'm recording my podcast and you know somebody else might say well I'd rather have the ATR2100 okay but you know, that kind of thing, the audio is definitely um, something that is your personal preference because your voice, the tones of your voice also have to be taken into consideration. So these are the things that I always talk about, about mics, the distance, how far you are from the mic. I'm just going to hold this one up for demonstration, right? You got to know where the sound is being picked up. Is it being like, if I had this mic, first thing I wonder, is it being picked up here or is it being picked up there? This is just for show. The, the sound is going into here. Okay. Sometimes the sounds are going into the top. You got to find out for your specific mic. And the best way to find out is to just test, do some test recordings. You know, you don't have to go live on YouTube to do it, but you can if you want. All right. And then, so it's your distance, how far it is away. Okay. So it's your technique, the kind of mic you have. Some mics are made 
to only pick up the sound in front of them, not behind them. That's why people like the ATR 2100. But then it also has to do with your vocal range. So it's your voice. You know, like, for example, Kamari has a deep voice. So he's going to want a mic that picks up those deep ranges. My voice is probably a little mid-range. Okay. But then you have a lot of um, podcasters, especially females, that may have the higher range voices. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. You just have to find that mic that helps you find your sweet spot and the one that is right for your voice. So it's the kind of mic, your technique, which includes how close you are to the mic, that you're talking into the right part of the mic, and also your room acoustics. Got to take that into consideration too. <clears throat> for example, this room that I'm in, I know it's echoey in here because I have hardwood floors. I don't have any carpet on the floors. So I have to keep that in consideration. Okay. So there you go. The browser has to be Chrome for the YouTube. I'm so sorry, guy. I saw you ask that question. Right now, the option to use YouTube live slash webcam is only available on Chrome only available on Chrome. You can't use it on any other browsers. And so use Chrome, <laughs> use Chrome. They are, they are, they're going to, you know, they're going to expand that to other browsers. And then eventually I do believe that they're going to include the screen sharing. Cause like, like I said, right now I'm using the option. Um, I want to test out other mics to see which one will work best with my voice. Okay. And still you don't have the verified tick too bad. I've been a subscriber for like four or five years. Oh, I, Abdul, don't worry about that. The verified tick. Does that make you want to watch somebody more or less if they have the verified tick? It doesn't make me want to watch. Uh, maybe because I don't have it. <laughs> Carla. <laughs> yes. And Cynthia fashion podcast launching in April, taking note, love your lives. Oh, thanks. Oh yes. Yeah, Cynthia, thank you for keep returning. And, um, you know, launching in April, guess what? April is next week. So you are going well, maybe a week and a half, but you're going to be launching really soon. So I'm, I'm glad to hear that. And, um, did anybody want to come on cam with me? I know um, Guy Cook, if you're available, or Kamari, I can send you guys a link. Uh, I don't know if Beauty Bubble is still here. Um, press Control C to copy. Now, I will send the link to you over on Facebook, okay? just because and it's so much easier for me to do it that way. And so I will set up a message right now. And thanks everybody for bearing with me while I post this message over here for Guy. I will come up really quickly. And here's the link, Guy, if you want to come on cam and join me. And then Kamari, I'll send him the link as well. So one of the reasons why I use this events here is um, because I wanted to give you guys the opportunity to come on and ask questions. Uh, okay, so, and I'm also posting that for my patrons over on Patreon. And uh, I, I, but I posted it in Facebook. <laughs> But I just want to give folks that I know will like to come on with me the opportunity. And uh, so. Yeah, because, you know, I think this is exciting. I got to be honest, guys. I have seen so many folks go live since YouTube released this. Uh, I, I want to say it was. Wednesday, maybe it could have been Thursday, but I have seen so many people 
go live on YouTube that rarely even use YouTube. They had just been doing all their lives on Facebook. I'm seeing people saying this is a game changer and all of that. And in a way it really is because one of the things that was holding people back from using YouTube live is, you know, fresh, especially from desktop is the fact that you had to jump through all these extra hoops to do it. And I, you know, I have tutorials, some of my tutorials here on YouTube about using this, using the old feature, the one I'm using right now, which is the events. It, it's like one of my po most popular videos because people want to go live on YouTube. They really do. See, here's the difference between just going live on YouTube and going live just on Facebook. Uh, I'll give you a few uh, differences. And I'm going to give credit to uh, Vincenzo Landino because I actually was watching a video that he was on with Brian Fanzo and he made a couple of points and I was like, you know, sometimes you take these things for granted. First of all, there's the search option. So your video has that extra shelf life beyond Facebook. Okay. So Facebook, when you go live on Facebook, it's only going to be on maybe two days at the longest. And most of the time, not even that long. Right. After that, people forget about it. They don't care. There's, there's not much way for you to get discovered because there's no real search options. Right. And then the, one of the other things that you have with YouTube that you don't have with the other platforms, even, um, uh, well, you do have some options with Twitch, but you have to have a big following, but is the monetization, you know, and not just, uh, the, uh, super chat, which is amazing, but then you also have just the AdSense, you know, so, uh, oh, and, and Google AdSense. So, these are things that you're just not going to get those options over on Facebook. Now I, I wrote down some things here. One of the things that I like about this new going live, there's no limitations or no restrictions. You don't have to have a certain number of followers. You don't have to have a certain number of views or anything like that. Oh, and you don't have to be monetized. You can start a YouTube channel. You can start a brand new YouTube channel today and go live with this option. Okay. So that I want to make sure that's clear with everybody. And so you would just go to youtube.com slash webcam. Okay. So that's how you get there. And then also, when you're in the uh, creator studio, you'll see the option now that says camera. They changed the wording. So, <laughs> and okay. So I'm waiting for you guys to come in. I see Kamari said he will come in for a hot minute, but he didn't get here yet. Come on, Kamar. <laughs> and uh, you can pop out. You don't have to worry about popping out the chat. Now, like right now, in fact, I will screen share to show you guys what I have done. I have popped out the chat into a separate window because remember I'm using the old school way of going live. All right. Which I've taught this way many times for many years now to go live from, uh, the events. All right. So here's those, all the folks that came in. We've got aunt Capone and beauty bubble Kamari, who I think just showed up. Who's that that just came in the room. <laughs> Okay. So the, this chat, when you're doing this webcam option, that is Kamari. Hi. Hi. How you doing? Good. Oh, you're in the studio. Let oh, me yeah. put you up there. I'm going to white box you. <laughs> how many so monitors, cool. how many um, mics you got in there? <laughs> uh, technically one. Okay. All right. Good. And, and so you use the headphones. Yes. Yes, because you get like crazy feedback when I don't hear. Okay, so is this your oh, office? Your, yeah, this is my office. Okay. My office. Okay, great. Actually, it looks a little janky right now because I need to get a new shock mount for uh, my 2020. 
and they don't take traditional stock months. They have like a standard, I mean, like a specific one for it that I have to get. Okay, so you so you're using that AT2020 mic? I have the AT2020 plus USB mic. Okay. I have I have the Logitech C920. So I said I must have gotten all this from you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So wait, Larry Snow, I sent you the link. Larry, did you get the link? Because Mick Bonesai was here asking about the settings on the um Blue Yeti. And, you know, I talked about you. I gave you a shout out already, Larry. And I also want to say hi to the I of RA and also hi to Fax Media Global. Okay. So, Kamari, ha have you tried this new option now to go live on YouTube? I have not. And it's funny. I started out doing a bunch of interviews on Google Hangout. And I just kind of left the whole YouTube platform and did more on Facebook. But to the point you were just making about the, the easeability of finding videos and the monetization options, I think I'm coming back to do more on Facebook. I mean, on YouTube, I got to show them YouTube more love. Mm -hmm. Yep. And, oh, there's another thing that I want to warn you guys about on going live with this option. And I don't know if this is a glitch that YouTube is going to fix or not. But once you go live with the webcam option, you will see a share. You'll see a share when it'll bring up all these different icons, Twitter, Facebook, uh, you know, Reddit and all this other stuff. Right. But for some reason, if you click on that, you close your stream. So uh, that's got to be a glitch that YouTube and they may have even fixed that because that was like two days ago because I did it. I, you know, I went live on unlisted. And I said, oh, here's, you know, Twitter. And when I clicked on it, and then I heard a couple other people say the same thing. So don't share it. <laughs> you also get that URL. You can take that URL, then open up another tab. And then, you know, for your Twitter or your Facebook or wherever else you're going to share it, you can do it that way. But don't click on that option to share until YouTube fixes that. Cause I'm sure that's an oversight. I mean, they don't want you to share it and leave, close the stream at the same time. Oh, okay. Beauty said, yes, that was fixed for her today. Yay. Okay, great. Because that was a real major bug. <laughs> you know, they tell you to share it. Then you click on it to share it and you, you're, you would lose your stream. The share button was too close to the in stream button. Okay. Gr so they moved it. Wonderful. And, you know, beauty, if you want to come on, I'm, I will go over to Twitter now and send you that link as well. Cause beauty bubble, she has a lot of experience with using that option because I think ever since that option came out, beauty has gone live. How many times have you gone live beauty <laughs> since they came out with this new option? I know she's been just doing so many great things. Um, uh, here on YouTube. And so, you know, it's like I said, there's just so much, so many advantages of doing it this way that, you know, I, I'm glad that you're thinking about, you know, but the only thing is you can't do interviews this way. Well, we're talking. Huh? We're talking. This is an interview. Right. But we're, I'm not using this, the option. I, let me repeat that because I want to make that clear. I'm okay. not using the option. I'm using the old hangouts on air, which is called uh, events because uh, I wanted you guys to have the opportunity to come on. But this new webcam option, which is youtube.com slash webcam. They have not yet added in the screen sharing or that inviting and guests. Now we know that it's going to come. You know, I, I I don't think that YouTube would give us this quick option without the plans for letting us, you know, because, I mean, they knew from the start when they started with these hangouts. I mean, from from day one, uh, Beauty Bubble came on. Yay. Hey, Beauty. Hi, everybody. <laughs> yeah. So Hi. so from, from day one, when hangouts came out, you could always add people on. So I've got to think that that's coming and it probably coming really quickly because they just rolled that out like bam everybody has the option what, what are your thoughts about it beauty well you know i'm crazy about this in fact last night with alfredo we basically decided that we are addicts <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> we're just going to put out our, you know, put out our wrists, you know, just beam me up right now. Um, I think that what we're experiencing is this two click, three click op, you know, and I, I guess Eileen's going to actually go through like a tutorial on how to get it going. You will experience something that's completely different than organizing a hangout, an event. It's just completely different. It has this, um, uh, and I know I talk in these kind of weird terms, but there's a vibration that happens when you're going live that fast. And there's an energy about it um, where you don't, you're not filtering yourself. So what I, what, would I, what I would say about the interview technique is that when you go live like that, it allows for you to test out maybe questions that you have of an interview, you know, that it allows for you to kind of speak more freely for whatever reason. I don't know exactly, and Eileen knows this, I'm, I'm very happy to speak my mind going live, but this particular point, point, go live, you know, click, click, go live. I mean, it, it's a very powerful um, feature set. And I'm, you know, I'm crazy about it, I mean. Thanks for asking. <laughs> you know, that's very interesting because I feel like part of the reason why I don't do more videos on YouTube <laughs> is because I feel like the production value has to be better. And I'm always doing lives on Facebook. And I do yeah. tend to speak my mind a bit more freely on Facebook because I don't feel like I have to do the overall production value. So the, you just made a great point. I never even thought about it. Yeah, I think what it does is there's something called the throat chakra. And it allows, especially if you're an interviewer, there's sometimes where you're having, a, you know, you're not too sure if you're really there yet with the potential person that you're going to be interviewing. Maybe you're still in study. You know, maybe they're a botanist, let's say. And you're just kind of in study and you're going through some manuals and you're putting your thoughts together. This is an incredible way of doing that and, and being live and being, this is beyond uh, transparency. This is being genuine with yourself, with everyone else out there, the 20 million people or 50 million YouTube, active YouTube accounts, Eileen, is that what Pat was saying? 50 million? Uh, yeah, no, it's more than that, 500 million, but I don't know where he's got that number from. So I, it's a lot, it's a lot. It's more people than we can fit in a football field, you know, <laughs> in, a, in a stadium. So it's like a, a massive amount of people. And for whatever reason, um, it gives you that member, because you don't have to be on for, you know, 15 minutes, or you could just be on just because you're trying to work out a thought. Mm -hmm. And you power up your gear and you work out that thought and you go live and you don't give a hoot about production quality because you're trying to dig, dig a little deeper, trying to get into that genuine self. And uh, I think it's very, I mean, to me, it's just got so many um, attributes of discovering us because we can be discovered if we can get closer to who we are, you know. And, and just real quick, I want to let folks know if they're watching and they're wondering, why don't, oh, somebody's got echo. Uh, uh, beauty, beauty doesn't come on cam, but, she, uh, you know, very vo vocal <laughs> on YouTube. So that's why you're not seeing her, her image there. But yeah, <laughs> she's a powerhouse without it. <laughs> and so also I sent over links to Abe and I sent it to Larry. Well, Larry, you already had the link, I believe. So please come on if you, if you wish, I would love to hear your feedback. And Larry also made the comment that you could use the XSplit broadcaster software and that would allow you to go live. Well, I mean, to have someone else on cam. <clears throat> okay, Larry posted a statistic now that just makes a little more sense than the one that uh, Pat shared in the video. And nothing against Pat. Pat Flynn made an amazing video yesterday comparing YouTube with podcasting. Oh my gosh, that video is off the charts. And I'm going to make myself a note to put that video link in the description as well as um well it's funny i was actually thinking about doing a youtube show to then take out strip out the audio and do my podcast right. so i have to go check out pat's um pat's video 
Yeah. Okay. So Guy R. Cook is here. Hi, hey, Guy. Guy. It's been a blab in a day, hasn't it, Guy? How no are sound you? from you yet, Guy. <laughs> yeah, I I think that what That's, you're talking. Um, oh, go ahead. Uh, the whole part about taking your voice, using this new feature, and really studying your own voice and what you have to say to then go to the podcast world is once another one of those things that's very powerful because you don't have all this other ancillary things to think about. You know, what button to push and did I push the right button and did I do this and that and the other? And so, as you can tell, I'm very excited for the podcasting world. I'm very excited for this feature. Because the audio pickup and the 1080p, if you're on camera, maybe you're showcasing, you know, um, could be, I was mentioning today, it could be a flower garden. or I mean, the 1080p pickup is awesome. And that in itself is very energizing for the voice. Over. <laughs> so so what are your thoughts, Guy? You, you um, have some it's, browser it's, issues? It's, it's too much of a Firefox world that I live in to really get swept away with oh wow there's a new way to do it so i'm gonna you know be the old fart that i am and stick with what i know and and do the screencast matic mm -hmm. and record it and upload it to youtube because it works um my my downloads are up um i've i've recently the the only tweak i've done of credit of worth is i've started using advanced marketing institute headline analyzer and every single episode I get a score out of the analyzer. And if it if I first put it in there and it comes up 20%, well, that's, that works for some people. But my measure, the bar I've set, is to be over 30%. And that's working. So that's what I know about that. I, I guess I'm not real quick to adopt to new things because it's going to change. You know, what, what you were doing right now and talking about it and making oh this is the latest and greatest well sure it is but in six months we're going to get a new latest and greatest because to be a leader in the industry you have to provide innovations that's why you youtube channel was born because to keep us i guess in the thirst for knowing what's going on we've got to see a new thing every now and then or we're going to go oh this is the same stuff they had six months ago. Oh, I'm not going to keep doing this. This I want to have the new stuff. That's why people go upgrade and get the new cell phones and the new car and the new whatever, because they've got to have the latest and the greatest. Well, I don't. You'll notice that in the in the stream and your YouTube kind of is a ha, ha when you're talking about the Blue Yeti and all these different microphones. Well, there's a little microphone I use on my Linux box that was... I bought it at a yard sale for 50 cents, and it's the microphone that they use for the game. Remember the game Guitar Hero? I don't know if it's still around. But this microphone, I guess, was so you could lip sync or something. Who knows? <laughs> and it works great for podcasting. For a, You want to have a low end, just get your feet wet. All you're going to do is provide information. You're not worried about it being quadraphonic, super-duper stereo quality sound. Give it a go. Okay. I mean, I mean, if if your consideration is getting started with doing a <clears throat> podcast, and I'm kind of at the Fraser Ramsey's point at this point, I'm I'm renaming some of my stuff. If it's on YouTube, I'm not going to call it a podcast because on on video streams, I got to go a different way. Can you tell I had too much tea today? I'll stop. <laughs> no, what you know, <laughs> there is if you're already using YouTube Live in your preferred way. Like for me, I use a tool called Ecamm Live. It's yeah. a Mac only tool, okay? Right. But it lets me do the screen sharing. And I actually can have guests on with that, but they have to also have Skype. And I haven't yeah. spent much time, invested much time in practicing doing it that way. Right. But, but if you already have something in place, Fine, go with what you you know you're comfortable with, what you're used to using. And one of the reasons why I stopped using this, what we're using today, which is the events, is when I would do screen share. If I screen share a little too much, 
I would lose Cam. I would literally not be able to come yeah, back. Yeah, resources Cam. couldn't do it. Yeah, I was just and, looking at a at a piece of hardware for setting up virtual servers and said you can have up to a hundred virtual servers. I said, well, that doesn't do me a bit of good if I don't have fiber, hundred gigabit mm -hmm. upstream to to serve it with. Because if they're slow, I mean, I can go to GoDaddy and get slow hosting. I don't have to spend eight hundred dollars <laughs> on a virtual <laughs> server. Uh, oh, anyway, uh, Fax Media is saying that he's having echo. I do hear a little echo. Suddenly. Yeah, I do too. It's um, not me. See. I got headphones on. Okay, but um, um, it's not he, me. He asked. It, it's gone away. Okay. He asked if I've tried to use OBS Studio. In fact, let me bring yeah. the chat on Cam. Even though I know it will be there on the replay, let me just bring it up because we got some new folks and that. Came. Yeah, I was curious. How how do you read this? Where where are you seeing this at? Is that in the in the chat in the in her chat in her chat. <laughs> In the chat. Oh, but it's no, not it's something not. I can see. Well, you can't. On, yeah, it's on screen oh. now, so you can yeah. see. It. Yeah. But it's in the YouTube chat. Not, yeah. Okay. So, Flax, Fax Media Global, thank you for coming. And also, before I get to that, I want to go back to Larry's statistics. Mm -hmm. And Larry, I would love for you to come on cam. And I already sent you the link. 1.5 billion logged in users visiting wow. the site every month. Uh, that's YouTube we're talking about. And that's a 2017 stat. And I'm sure it's probably higher now. Uh, but 1.5 billion, it's kind of, you know, it'll probably take them a while to get up to the 2 billion from that. Maybe a few months anyway. And then logged in users spend an average of more than one hour per day watching YouTube just on mobile devices. So that's a lot of shiny squirrels, Guy. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's a lot of shiny squirrels looking for. That's, that's a new... demographic that means nothing to me because it's not broken out into my ideal customer group. That's saying everybody that goes to YouTube 14 to 40 or 18 to 80, I don't know, you know, what demographic I'm looking at and what they're saying, two different animals. Well, you, you know, you ha also can check your YouTube analytics. Yeah. Not, you know, because I know what you're talking about is when you're looking at your Google analytics for your website, correct? Well, that's one of the places I look, but okay. I have to know first what my ideal customer is. So I, right. I go back over the course of the year, how many people did I work with that are young? Not so many. And the reason is because I'm 66. So I'm, I'm too old to be worth a hoot, right? Oh. No matter how many websites I've built, no matter how much I know about server administration. <laughs> no, it's true. It's true. I can, I can show you the numbers. The, my peeps are, are 40 plus. If I've well, got it's a lot, it's a lot of 40, wonderful 40 plus people out here. A lot and of shiny a, squirrels. A lot of demographic. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. But, but I got that Eileen just from looking at a thing about what is your ideal customer? What is your perfect profile? So if I'm going to preach the sermon, I want to talk to the people in the pews that are there for a reason. I'm not going to get the 1 billion people that looked at YouTube today. I'm not going to get just a small percentage of those people that are looking for web development, or SEO or something of that nature, but the people that want to see the latest um, trailer for Infinity War for Marvel movies are not going to ever cross my path because they're not in that niche. They're not that group. Oh, uh, Larry said the 35 plus and 55 plus age yes. groups are the fastest growing YouTube demographics. And they're, and so, they're widening that demographic number two, yeah. I mean, from what I understand. They're starting to catch on, guys. Right. They're taking yeah. the 35 to even <laughs> 70 and they're widening the demographic because this generation knows more about internet connectivity. And so the, 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 the age group is getting wider. I, yes. I, I've sat in um, rooms where people are like, my mom just got, you know, my mom just figured out how to get online and they'll state the age of the mother and I'll oh, go, yeah. oh my gosh, are you kidding I, me? You know, I I but, but, but the mom story I'll always remember 
was the day she called me up. This is like 10, 15 years ago. You know, they got webcams mm -hmm. on the internet. I can look at the camera that's on Snoqualmie Pass and see the cars going by. So, of course, I replied, well, didn't you see me wave? <laughs> I was up there. I, I could tell you were looking. No. I want really anyway. quickly. Oh, you got to run, guy? Well, I'm, I'm going to talk too much. And there's <laughs> things I got on the fire going with setting up my personal profile and, and blah, blah, blah. Okay. Anyway, thanks for inviting me. All I'm right, going to well, jump out here so Larry can joining. come in and tell you about stuff. And have a good day. Okay. And I want to say hi to Lu Luana. Tara Lizzie, she says she's one of them. So she's yeah. she's in that demographic that uh, you know, <laughs> not the millennials. <laughs> so yeah. Oh, uh, and Larry is just giving us all kinds of facts and figures. I guess you're getting mm -hmm. that from the YouTube press room, Larry. Is that where you're getting that? Because YouTube has this press room, and uh that's where I was gonna go to look for updated stats. And in fact, 44. Okay, Luana. In fact, in that um, comparison that Pat Flynn made last night about podcasting versus YouTube. He mentioned that there's half a million podcasts in Apple podcasts. So it's not even at a million mm -hmm. and you know, and YouTube is, so that was just one of the points that he covered, but there's, you know, there's a lot of others that he covered in his video and I, I actually wanted to do a follow-up video to that but i decided to use this topic today because i know this is exciting this is exciting it, that it really, it really is and i you know i i know that um in the blab days i would never stand up against sky cook with any argument because he's always going to win he has the advantage of the win he wins more arguments than any any person that i know of in the in the world of live streaming but i think that what we're seeing, we're seeing something that's different because um, all of us have been through the shiny, you know, the shiny, the squirrel that's out there to, to draw our attention. And I'm only saying this because I'm someone that has stood very firm and not going on cam, but yet being on YouTube. I've stood very firm. Now, you know, you can see me on YouTube if you want to, but I've stood very firm that the voice is the power. That's the true power for any of us, whatever whatever we're involved in, if you don't, even Eileen was talking about knowing and having control over your voice and where's the tenor, where's your tone, how to express yourself properly, where's your diction, you know, uh, can are there new words that you can use to express yourself? Because if we don't get that figured out, then we all are just in a video game, really. We're just being gamified. And if we cannot figure out how to lift our voices and express ourselves better, so I do, my argument is that I think that this very quick way, very clean way of going live on YouTube is what I hope anyway, will kind of make people think, right, Eileen? Make them rethink about going live without any of those barriers. Um, so anyway. Yeah, and that's, that's why I'm, you know, excited about it. And I thought, mm -hmm. even though, you know, I've, been doing this series of learn to live stream with Miss Eileen mm -hmm. and I've covered so many different platforms and ways of right. going live. I thought this one is just like, I've got to do it because this is the real opportunity, you know, for folks to really think about like, what is it that they want to put out there in, you know, in terms of video content and in terms of connecting with an yes. audience that they probably couldn't do before. You know, you may be using Facebook or maybe you're using Periscope. Poor thing. Mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> ouch. Come on over to YouTube now yes. because it's so easy. And people say, well, what about, I don't have an audience. There's nobody there watching. You're going to have to start from scratch, you know, if you don't have an audience, but 
<clears throat> the thing is, there's so many different ways that you can be discovered because especially mm -hmm. when you're live, YouTube wants people to see that there's a live stream going on. Yes. And YouTube knows the types of videos that people watch. You've noticed that today we've had a few folks join us that <clears throat> I've never seen before because and they may have be our subscribers, but I don't see them that often. They don't comment or come into the chat. Mm -hmm. So I did not realize that I, I've had these folks in my audience mm -hmm. because YouTube is going out of the way to show them, hey, this video is happening. You probably be interested in it. Go over and check it out. So Eileen, I know that we've taken your, your tutorial off onto another path. Do you want to go through the tutorial? Oh, about you go on, I, I did the screen share. I, oh, okay. I, can okay. I, just, I, I just wanted to make sure that we didn't abbreviate that oh. because Kamari looks like maybe he wants to do something now. I can see that sense of the tiger going on. <laughs> He's got that tiger pounce going on. Yeah. And that's an interesting mm. uh, depiction. No, I was going to ask what you just what you just brought up actually about the algorithm, and is the algorithm friendly to YouTube Live? And you just address that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It, it yeah. always has been. It always has been. Even if you're on your phone, or even before you know Facebook even started doing live, okay, video. Uh, YouTube had all these options for live streaming and they, there's actually, you know, and you Facebook kind of copy. Facebook is the king of copycat. That's somebody, something else I heard <clears throat> Vincenzo say today. <laughs> or maybe it was Brian Fanzo that said that, you know, that uh, they copied this facebook.com slash live. Well, YouTube's had that for years. You want to go and see who's live right now. You can go to don't leave now. But you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you can go to uh, youtube.com slash live and you can see folks that are live and it doesn't have to be one of these big time YouTubers or even somebody like myself who's been around for a while. It could be people that, you know, are small channels who just yes. start, doesn't matter. They just put feature certain ones on that page. And I don't know if there's an algorithm or if they just randomly put folks up there. And then of course there's all the news channels that are constantly live are also featured there. But anybody who's logging onto YouTube now, if they're related to me in, in any way, there's going to be a chance that they're going to see that I'm live. And mm -hmm. when I say related to me in any way, maybe they've watched some of my videos before. Of course, maybe if they're a subscriber, they should have got a notification, but it also could be that they have watched maybe one of beauty's videos before because beauty and our channels are connected, right? Or, and it doesn't have to be somebody who's on cam. It could be that like earlier, I mentioned Brian G Johnson. Okay. So maybe somebody who watches one of Brian's videos and who knows that Brian and I do have the same type of content, then maybe they'll see that, Hey, that girl, Eileen is live and Hey, she's talking about live video. So. Uh, I also think that the unedited voice is something that people are craving. I think that so much of, especially with the marketing professional, that they've already polished so much of what they have to say to their audience, and they get it from the, writing their books or saying it and on you know stages and that sort of thing. So what they're giving us is more of a polished idea. But when you go live and it's unedited, as Eileen knows, because I've said a lot of crazy things when I've been <laughs> when I've been live, uh, but. People enjoy it. I think that they like to see that, you know, that we have to think things out sometimes. Not, not everything is crystal clear um, all the time when you're dealing with the unedited voice. And I, I want to say hi to Tom. I know. Uh, he, oh, said, he said he just yeah. signed up for YouTube Red and was spending a little more time than usual on YouTube. Of yeah. course, Beauty and I are old friends. Yes. Oh, wow. Tom, yeah. I'm so glad you came over and I'm so glad you mentioned YouTube Red. I heard a statistic the other day that for the very first time, YouTube is the number one app in the Apple store, the number one income generating app. They've been in the top three, but it's the number one. And it's because of Super Chat 
and YouTube Red. Can you tell me what Super Chat is? Super Chat is like right now, if you, well, let me put this chat screen back up on. You'll see at the very bottom of the screen there, you see the emoji thing, but then you see the dollar sign. So anyone who is watching this broadcast right now can donate money to me. And what happens is depending upon how much they give, it could be anywhere from a dollar up to $500. Depending upon how much they donate, because you get a chance to ask a question or make a comment or say something, depending upon how much you give, you, the more characters you get and the longer that it stays up at the top of the chat. So, yes. So, for example, my friend Larry Snow has given me super chats many times in the past. And let's say he gives me a $10 super chat. And he may write something on there like, um, you know, thanks for all you do or something like that. And so then that stays up at the top. So then people will see that and they all get, they may say, oh, let me follow this Larry Snow guy. He's interesting. Plus he's got the little blue wrench because he's a moderator. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, and this also is a reminder to me for everybody, since we do have so many new folks here, you should all connect with one another. You just click those three dots like I just did. So look at the screen. If you're looking away, if you're cooking dinner or eating a sandwich, right? Well, cooking breakfast. I'm sorry. So <laughs> breakfast sandwich. Click right. Click on those three dots, and you'll see go to channel. So please, please, please connect with everyone. Like right now, I know that I probably have not. Subscribe to Tom Markham. So I'm going to stop what I'm doing right now. I'm not even going to watch any of his videos. I'm just going to subscribe because <laughs> you know he's friends with beauty. Yeah. So hey. <laughs> I know. You know, worst that can happen is I watch one of his videos and I'm like, oh, is that what he's talking yeah, about? Yeah, that's what it's <laughs> But in the, meantime, it hmm. in the meantime, he picked up a subscriber, right? So we all want to build our subscriber base, right? So I'm going over to Flax Gold. I'm going to go to everybody and subscribe. And I want you guys to all do that while we're all here, because that's what it's all about. It's about building community. And you never know. It could be the person that ends up being your co-host on a podcast. It could be the person that ends up being your collaborator on your next YouTube project. It could yeah. be the person that you sell your next course oh, to. Course to, right. Speaking of courses, I have an anchor course. <laughs> So if anybody wants to start life, um, I'm sorry, podcasting. Check Let me out. add another attribute to the super chat too, so that people don't misunderstand. It's a 200 character count. So it can be a very deep, you know, you take advantage of those 200 characters. But you, get more, you get more if you give more. Yeah. On the character counts. Yes. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. what I, yeah. I mentioned that. Yeah. yeah. It depends. So that's why the character count depends upon how much you get. Right. How much, how deep your little, um, yeah. Yep. Well, I hate to be the money guy, right? But I can't help it. So I'm sure there's a split between you and YouTube. Yeah. Uh, YouTube, I believe, gets, th gets 30%. I think now, 70 if, 30 split, I think. Now, if you're on your iPhone, it's even more complicated because Apple gets a cut of that too, which is why mm -hmm. they 5%. Not, I think. See, that's it. That's another reason why YouTube just broke into that top one position because with these new changes with the live streaming that YouTube made, now you can do it on your iPhone. You could not all this time. The super chat's been out, which has been a, over a year, I think, or close to a year. You could not do it on iPhone, mm -hmm. but they just implemented it on, on iPhone last month. You could do it on Android. You could do it on desktop. I've given many super chats, you know, over the past year. And there are other qualifiers too, if I'm not mistaken, right, Eileen? You have to have a thousand subscribers. Oh, in you order have to, to be get, part of AdSense, order. and you know, you have to go through some know your customer questions and answers with with um with YouTube. In order for the the person who is the broadcaster, yes, there yeah. are qualifications in order for you to qualify for monetization. As long as your channel is monetized, 
Now, yeah. YouTube keeps moving the cheese on that. So don't say well, now. <laughs> so well, I, that gives me some ideas. I mean, because I do the whole Ask Amari where people can ask me financial questions. Now I can ask for donations to help, you know, make a better production of that. Yeah, right. Yep. I got to get to my first thousand, though, it sounds like. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right. We're in the same well, you you have you have more subscribers than I do by far, but yeah, I think that so many of us are trying to reach that thousand mark so that as Eileen says, we're still chasing the cheese. Yeah. I had chased the cheese and in December I thought, okay, I'm good, I'm golden. I, I'm gonna get my monetization back actually. And of course they changed and moved the cheese and then here we are. And I, a couple nights ago, when they released the new feature, I just pace, I basically threw my hands up and just kind of said, listen, I, I'm not going to stop doing this because they're not going to recognize me. I'm going to use any way that I can to be recognized. So when I saw the live, when I saw the webcam feature and I realized, wait a minute, if I name that, if I name the stream the right way, I'll, they will put me in their live channel. And they did. So you never know, you know, if you can, they can move the cheese, but I can move the trap. So, uh, I like that. I like that. <laughs> so, but you know, I think the super chat is really can, man, I've been in some super chats, you know, $300. I've seen, I've been in super chat where someone went all the way, $500. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I it's really Tom something. Tom Markham is saying that he saw one as high as $50. Yes. And I actually saw one that was 300 as yes. well. But, but 500 as far as I know, is the limit. Now, yeah. I also want to let you guys know, if you ever think about giving somebody a super chat and you want to have that visibility, right? First of all, it's non-refundable. Yeah. Okay. So let's just say somebody gave me a super chat right now. But I said, okay, bye, guys. I'm ending the stream. And they thought that their chat was going to be up there for 10 minutes. But then I ended the stream. But you can't get your money back. Mm -hmm. So, care, you know, time that. You know, you don't want to. You're not sure if the person's winding down or not. Mm -hmm. Maybe you want to wait until they start a new topic before. <laughs> before you, you know, and then sometimes you'll see someone give a super chat and it'll be in their currency, depending upon what country they're in, because yeah, right. it's not available in all countries either. Yeah. Uh, it has, it has definitely broadened the countries that it's available in, but sometimes it may be, uh, you know, something European or, you know, and then you're like, yeah. Especially if you're as a creator, you're thinking, <laughs> well, you well, also see all the zeros. You see all the zeros, and you're like, whoa, what did that person just do? And then, of course, it ends up being in a foreign currency, and it, it ends up being like two dollars. But it looks like it's, you know, right. Like this yeah. but, you know, you just have to wait. As a creator, you just have to wait. And 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 the other thing is, <laughs> as a creator, you're getting super chats. Don't think you're going to get that money next week, or you know, you don't get it until. Whenever that cutoff is for AdSense, because you have to yeah. have a hundred dollars before you get a payout anyway. So whenever that cutout is, that cutoff is, and I think it's the fifteenth or something like that. But you don't get the super chat until the following cutoff. But it's okay. there. Yeah. So Kamari, there. for example, like it's there waiting for us to figure out a way how to unlock it. Whether people do it or we learn how to get it unlocked and people are, are supporting your channel. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I like that's it. why I got to come back. <laughs> and there's another thing that YouTube introduced and I'm um, luckily um, that I was on the social media examiner show and Owen video, my friend Owen Hemsath and I can, actually say my friend <laughs> he uh he announced this because i didn't see it when it went over my radar it's called and this is for people who have businesses and who have been reluctant to use video or they just want a more uh high quality video youtube has introduced something called director director.youtube.com yeah. yeah. you can schedule with a professional videographer now, here's the thing, $350, that's it. 
you have to spend that much on AdSense. But a professional videographer will contact you, give you some a little bit of a questionnaire. You have to tell them what mm -hmm. it is that you do, what, what kind of customer you're trying to reach or what your goal is for the video. They will write the script for you, come out to your location with their gear and shoot your video for, and all you have to do, you don't even actually pay the videographer. You just have to spend $350 on AdSense. So it's available in 17 cities. I got to say that. And it's US only. Got to say that too. And I'm, see, I'm some of us need to apply for that job because that sounds like a fun job to go out and help YouTubers get their lives together. I don't know if YouTube <laughs> reached out to people. To certain photographer, because you got to be a videographer, right? So I don't know if YouTube had a connection because they 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 started it with just nine create nine cities. I'm sorry, originally. So I don't know if there's like a an organization or a trade organization out there. These people belong. Yeah. To. I don't know how they're vetted, but um, they, we'll find out more because Owen has his schedule for this week and Kim from social media examiner has her schedule for her business mm -hmm. this week. So by next weekend, we should have a little bit more, you know, about what, and in seven days, you're going to get your video seven days after the shoot. Gee, what else? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I, I, that is super. So it's just going to bring more people onto the platform guys. Oh, and, you know, somebody said to me something about YouTube um, and like, catching up with Facebook or something like that. And it's like, no, 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 no. You don't understand. YouTube is just, their platform is so built out. Their infrastructure is there. And Facebook is desperately trying to keep up with YouTube. Mm -hmm. Like they did that Facebook watch, but I mm -hmm. heard nobody's watching. <laughs> <laughs> nobody's watching. Do you watch watch? I don't Listen, watch, watch. This is this is the problem that I've had. You know, we follow the foodie channels over at Facebook, and many times I'll see if I'll see a foodie thing, and I'll, I'll yell out to Quiet, "You've got to see this! You've got to see it!" And he'll say, "Well, just you know, just bookmark it or whatever you need to do." And I'm like, "Bookmark? I can't. I don't know how to. I don't know how to bookmark over at Facebook, you know." And then I'll try and find it again. These are big food channels too. I can't find anything. I cannot find anything over at Facebook. Yeah. It is so, fr it is so frustrating that he gets you. And I say, he, he gets you to go over there and you just end up in this maze of almost craziness. And then all of a sudden I'm hearing about someone's divorce or, you know, their dog or, and I'm just looking for, you know, the rest of the pecan pie recipe. <laughs> it like drives me crazy. Over there on YouTube, I go pecan pie and I get, you know, I'm like, I'm right there. <laughs> That's so. right. So mm -hmm. here's a quick question from it's, it's uh, DJ Derby, Derpy. I have a question. How much money do you get from AdSense on one video? Well, there's no set amount. It depends. I hate to say that, but it depends. Mm -hmm. Depends on how many people watch the video, how many advertisers want to pay for for that video, how much they pay, because there's an auction that they go and they have to bid. So, you know, there, there's no set answer for there. There's not even a range to answer that question. <laughs> um, and then when you want the money, when you reach a hundred, how long does it take to get it? So when you reach the $100 payout, you will get that money probably like on the 20th of the next month. <clears throat> around the 20th because the 15th is a cutoff, but then I guess they got to do all their math behind the scenes. And then, and the reason why, because sometimes there is such a thing as AdSense click fraud. Okay. Oh. And that occurs even on websites. It's probably, especially on websites. So they have to rule out that there's no click fraud because you know, the advertisers want to make sure those are real clicks, really real people, not bots or anything else coming to their websites or whatever they're advertising. Okay. So just know that 
if you're just starting or you're just getting monetization enabled on your channel, you're not going to see a payout in 30 days. It's going to take a while. Even if you reach the $100 threshold in your first 30 days, you're probably not going to get paid until 60 days or 60 plus 15, 75 days, whatever. Depends upon what dates and all that stuff. So it's just something that happens in the background. You kind of like, you don't worry about like, when am I going to get this money? It's not like that. <laughs> just hope that you reach a hundred dollars within a month. I don't reach a hundred dollars every month. There, there was maybe a couple months that I reached a hundred dollars within that 30 day period. So when I, when the check, when the um, direct deposit, I actually get direct deposit. When it shows up, I'm like, Oh, yay. I found I got some money. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> you notice, on my banner, I changed my banner to read advertise with beauty bubble here or something like that is on my banner now. <laughs> <laughs> and I want to say hi to Carla and Carla. This is the first time I've actually heard this. Carla said that there's a lot of crossovers. The videos on Facebook watch are also on YouTube. Mm -hmm. I never heard that before. And so you may be right. Cause I don't watch them. <laughs> but it, but I thought that the videos that were on Facebook was paying those people to exclusively make those videos for Facebook watch. That's what I, th these are um, not just some, somebody we know who went live on Facebook and then they uploaded, uh, you know, they downloaded it and then uploaded it and repurposed it on YouTube. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about this story specific area called watch where Facebook has a paid creators to make content for Facebook. So I'm going to try to bring it up and go over into a screen share so you can see what I'm talking about. Hey, Eileen, can you do a quick like little poll of people that are here that think that they're going to be trying out the new feature on YouTube? Yeah, just let me know. Just type into yeah. the chat. And let us know if you're going to try this new YouTube live. Okay. This is Facebook watch. Okay. This is outside the NBA season one, episode 19. So I guess this, if some folks are watching that, it looks like there's 2,100 people watch this particular wow. video, which is nothing considering that Shaq is in it. Um, <laughs> Kenny Smith. Oh, Charles Barkley is in it. Mm -hmm. I, I think 2100 is low in my opinion and 110 comments to me, that's nothing, but uh, you know, who am I? Check out, can you, can you check out Gary, but the daily V I'm curious to see the numbers for that. Which one is it? The daily V the daily V. Oh, okay. Yeah. Gary V. I forgot he had something here. Well, this one wasn't good. This one didn't do well for him, but let's go into these ones that did, did better. Here's one that's got 64,000 views. That was 22 hours ago. Okay. okay. 75,000. Yeah. Gary, v, the daily V this is the suggested show for me. So there's another one from Gary V ask Gary V. I mean, you know, like, is there anybody else doing real content over here besides Gary V? <laughs> well, all that stuff's also on YouTube though. Huh? All of the Gary stuff is You're awesome. right. You're right. This is yeah. on YouTube too. You're right. You're absolutely so I wonder right. If they're like different levels to that uh yeah, it could be. Yeah. Yep, it could be. So Jeez. and maybe that NBA thing is over on there. Oh, here's another one. Late night with Stephen Colbert. So I'm sure that's on YouTube as well. So thanks for, for telling me about this, Carla, because I I had no idea. I, maybe there are some that are just for Facebook and others that have uh said yes. I, you can put it on Facebook too. <laughs> so yeah, cool. So, you know, I, and I would, it'd be interesting to see if they're getting watched more on one or the other. Like I would never think to go to Facebook to watch, look for Gary V. Not that I'm ever looking for a Gary V video, to be honest with you. But Sorry. if there was one that, I mean, I, you know, he's got good content. Don't get me wrong. But he's not somebody that I look for. If I see him, I see him. If I don't, I don't. And not just him. There's a lot of them that are that I feel that way about. But um, if he um, gets more views on Facebook than he does YouTube, I, I'm going to say he probably gets more views on Facebook than he does YouTube. 
I'm guessing that he does. But, you know, he's he's wildly popular. So it really in his world, it probably doesn't even matter. He's been promoting Anchor and I've a lot that. of people joined Anchor because of Gary V. Mm -hmm. A lot. Because I actually did a series over there on Anchor and asked the question, how many of you, I mean, how did you find out about Anchor and, you know, what made you join? And at least 80% of the people, let's say I had about 30 to 40 people. And I would say 80% of them said, I found out from Gary V. But I did have about maybe 5% mm -hmm. of them say, I saw your video. <laughs> so they were talking about me. So I was like, yay, I'm up there with Gary V. <laughs> I did have a question about this new anchor feature that I think is only available on the mobile. And that's the new feature that you talked about, the, the video feature. You should have watched my video. No, well, no, I you, did, but I think it's just on on. on no, Google. that's not. No, my video I demoed it on the web. Well, I know, <laughs> but, but but what, huh? Well, when I'm over on my anchor, I don't get that feature. Okay, it's got the videos. Got to be. I mean, the segment has to be three minutes or less. Three minutes or less. So okay. you don't, if it's okay. not three I, minutes or there less. There we go. There we go. That's my problem. Because I can't do anything in three minutes. That's well, like. Okay. That's, this is what I said in the in the video. You do, a I special, know, but, you do a special thing to introduce your show. I know. I lean to you show. know how hard that is for me to do. You don't do a show. You do a special Okay. broadcast I a special it. episode that just said this is beauty bubble with the quiet chef and we're going to yeah. be talking about good food and good life boom boom what's that 30 se was that even 30 seconds that was 20 okay. seconds i wrote all that down i'm gonna do it this <laughs> afternoon <laughs> i lately write copies so what's my intro okay you got financial <laughs> problems i got the answers ask kamari there we go <laughs> and with that voice it's like, ooh, la, la. <laughs> okay. So uh, it's, we, we don't have no problem making a short little intro. Guys, just keep it simple, right? And you you could just, just want do... to somebody who sees that little icon, or maybe they don't mm -hmm. see your icon. Because remember, there is a lot of visually impaired people on Anchor. So... You might think, well, my banner says Ask Kamari. Yeah, but people can't see it. So you want to make a little short little thing that says, hey, and, you know, and then in that case, when you're making that video, they can't see that either. Right. <laughs> but when you're when you're making that video, remember, you're going to be sharing it on Instagram or on Twitter. Nobody's going to sit there for three minutes watching you. It's, I mean, it's the way. Once you see the wave go by, it's okay. It's kind of like, okay, you see the words. Nobody's got time to be sitting there reading. And what today we are going to be talking about <laughs> webcam on YouTube. It's the hottest feet. <laughs> The oh, way you break these things down, Eileen, just cracks me up. <laughs> just imagine if you're on Twitter. Huh? You're a pro. <laughs> oh, thank you, sweetie. <laughs> just imagine you're on Twitter. You're not going to be sitting around reading somebody's whole diatribe, right? You just want it quick. It's nice. It catches your eye the first couple times you see it. You're like, oh, that is so cool. But then by the fifth or sixth one, you're like, oh, ain't nobody got time to be reading all that. Okay, <laughs> I'll try it this afternoon. But I think for me, what I want to do is do more like, you know, we're going to be talking about cheeses on today's on today's podcast. So check it out. Well, See you over there. Something like that. And my friend Larry brings up such a good point. He always brings <laughs> up such good points. For those who are watching and don't know, what is Anchor? Oh, Anchor. Man. Is the easiest way to start a podcast ever. Ever. And yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving it because I just like this feature of going live on YouTube yeah. is the webcam feature is the easiest way to go live from desktop ever. Well, it may be just as easy as it was on Facebook, but you're going to get more chances for discovery on 
YouTube and more longevity and shelf life of your content Absolutely. on YouTube? Well, I, I thought about you earlier this week I was, as I was podcast surfing and I was listening to uh, the podcast king, uh, Dave Jackson, and I heard some of his comments about Anchor. He hates it. Sure. Yeah, I wasn't sure if you heard it or not. He's a beast. He hates it. And mm. and I and I've said that even in my uh one of my videos, I believe it was. Oh, my public service announcement to budding podcasters. And the reason one of the reasons why I think, because of course I can't speak for Dave Jackson, because that is my mentor, and I love Jay, Dave. And when it comes to podcasting, he's the man. Well, one of the reasons he does not like Anchor is because remember, he does support for Lipson. Mm -hmm. And besides that, you know, Dave is a veteran of podcasting, and these folks at Anchor are not. <laughs> especially the folks that are doing like support and cause I mean, most of these people just got hired at anchor in the last year or mm -hmm. not even the last year. I'm sorry. The last six months. Cause they just started the podcasting in June of 2017. And then they just started hiring a bunch of people around October, November. Okay. So they, they probably hired 10 new people in, in the last couple months. So, you know, and so one of the things with doing support is people coming from Anchor to Lipson saying, I want to bring my podcast over on Lipson now. And he's got to spend his time <laughs> explaining to them the difference of why you can't do that or why you need to. It's a nightmare for him. <laughs> As part of his workflow, now he's got to explain podcasting to all these people <laughs> who don't get it. <laughs> so, yeah, I, you know, I knew he was going to. In fact, if you go through my videos, you'll see that when I did a pros and cons of Anchor, actually Dave Jackson joined me. And just like we're doing now for YouTube uh, Hangouts. And we went through, and that was even an Anchor version too. That wasn't even the version that's out now. We can go from desktop. So it's getting worse now because there's way more people on Anchor now than there were. So as people, real see, if you're just getting started, you're going to realize after maybe six months in, or maybe as you start wanting to do more with your podcast, maybe interviews or something, you're going to realize that Anchor is not good enough for you. Like if you're somebody who's brand new, never did a podcast before, found out all you got to do is download an app and start talking. So now as you've started building your audience and you started getting into the flow and then you're like, wait, I can't do this and I can't do that. And I can't do the other. I don't know for heck with this anchor thing. But my, my, my point of view is, to get folks like my dear friend here, Beauty Bubble, yeah. who I've been trying to encourage to get a podcast since when I met her two years ago. But when she found out that she could go live, go on podcast mm -hmm. from her desktop quickly and easily, bam, she started her podcast. I will too say that all the elements that you need to have in place before you go prime time with your podcast you do get over at anchor i'm sure eileen covers this in in the coursework because you have to learn about your thumbnail you have to learn about what you're going to title it you have to learn about the tempo of your voice so if you're limited to time and i know that the one thing that i kept hearing was that martha stewart built her entire basically her entire empire on a 90 second spot that she did every day, 90 seconds, and she built an empire. So when I got that in my head, I realized over at Anchor, they give me the tools, the very quick tools to know, I do need to do this, I do need to do that. Before, you know, like for me, I think that it's one of the most, um, and it, it just makes me be more disciplined. If I was over at Spreaker, because, you know, Rob Greenlee would love for me to be over there. There's a lot of people that would just love to hear me read the phone book. I don't know why. I truly don't understand. You've got a wonderful voice. Yes, beautiful voice. 
<laughs> so, but our my argument with him always was that I would have no idea what to talk about. Eileen, of course, has talked to me about where's your direction, where's your focus, what's your mission. And so what Anchor does is it allows, it kind of gives you that little home base to figure all these things out because you have to. And in order to be, you know, proud of proud of the body, you know, the, the little body of work that I have over there, I'm very, very proud of. Well, because really, this took I'm yeah. sorry, honey. Go ahead. You don't want to want to cut you off. Go ahead. I just know that when you cover the coursework with Anchor, that you know, you're able to that people understand that it's really a fantastic first step. I mean, it's it's really and it, it you know, I've been, you know, we wrote the cookbook. Um two years ago and I think May. And, you know, we've been together for 27, 28 years, always thinking we should, we should, we should record this. We should, you know, constantly for 27 years. And finally I was actually able to get quiet to speak into the microphone. Yay! You know, and that, that wouldn't have happened if he didn't know, okay, here's the thumbnail. Here's what we're going to talk about. This is the length of time, you know, so, and I'm screen sharing to show you guys that we're on the top of the YouTube homepage. Yes. <laughs> it's funny because I came over here to look for Gary V video yep. and there's Gary V, but not on his show on cheddar, which is what beauty bubble yep. subscribes to cheddar. I do not subscribe to cheddar. I don't follow the financial more. And mm -hmm. maybe you do as well, Kamari, because uh -oh. of the financial. Yeah, see, these remember, this is what I was trying to explain to you guys about how that works. Okay. Mm -hmm. So even though I don't, I never watched a cheddar video on YouTube, but because I'm connected with Beauty Bubble and Kamari, so YouTube figures, hey, maybe she might want to watch this. They don't know I've been searching for Gary. Well, I didn't even search for Gary <laughs> V on Facebook. We went to Facebook Watch, right? This is my first time actually, because I'm typing it in right now, searching for Gary V. <laughs> but you know, you know what's interesting? I'm not even broadcasting from my main um, profile. See? <laughs> it pulled, it, it's pulling from my business profile and not my, you know, my regular Kamari Ellis profile. And, and I, I I usually go live with Kamari Ellis or do anything on YouTube with Kamari Ellis when I found it interesting. So clearly I didn't check the button, but I guess it knows me. The internet is all seeing and all knowing. <laughs> so, so really quickly now, I want to show you guys Gary V because I, you know, I'm a little confused about this. I'm not sure if these are the same videos or not because he's got the Ask Gary V, then he's got this. So, with these thumbnails are a little different, except maybe this one about Richard Roll. I think I did see that on Facebook. But anyway, the the view counts are less. 40, 43, 53, 29. Okay, so. No, then again, here's some 75,000. That's only two weeks ago, 75,000. So, I, you know. He also I, has multiple channels. Yes, that's what I was going to say. Yeah. He, he's got such a great um, network of, of followers that people probably don't even care where they're watching him. They see him on Facebook. They're just as happy as if they see him. And so Carla did mention that, you know, that's the problem with if you're not a celebrity getting you know visibility on facebook is harder but clearly mm. even though i have the celebrity beauty bubble with me now i'm still at the top of youtube <laughs> yeah that's because this is a rare experience it really is i think that some of us that are part of the youtube.com forward slash webcam that's all you need to know guys and i'm telling you i think that this the culture of going live in this in this method lets us kind of rise to the top a, l a little bit, I really think. I mean, Eileen, something that I've been thinking, number one, is that I'm invited into a panel with someone on YouTube that has a million views, number one. Number two, if I'm with Ross Brand, I'm on a YouTube, I'm in the chat with someone that has been nominated, right, the first season of Never Settle Show for two Emmys. Emmys, isn't that amazing? So see, that, that whole six degrees of separation, this is not, I mean, this is a real thing. It's, you know, this is how the it all works, especially if you, you know, like this, these aspirations. I understand that these are just aspirations. A lot of us are never going to get to really where we want to go, but 
we might help someone else get there. Eileen knows this. That's right. You know, I mean, two years ago, I don't even know if it was inner sites to have a million views on YouTube. Like it wasn't even like a thought. I wasn't and, paying attention to it. Mm -hmm, I just wasn't started paying, paying attention. attention. Right. And because of TubeBuddy, now I have to give a shout out to my friends at TubeBuddy. Mm -hmm. you know, they have the mobile app now. I meant to mention that today too. Uh, they have the mobile app now. And they also give you um, what they call milestones. Which, oh, cool. Which is something that YouTube itself doesn't really do until you get to, like we were talking earlier, I showed you the benefits of having 10,000 subscribers yeah. was that you get that bronze, but you get the opportunity to um, have your um, broadcast, I mean, to record a video at the YouTube space which they don't have a YouTube space in Philly. I would have to go to New York to go to the YouTube space. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm at 6,200 and something. 630 says on your, oh, on the channel, right. 6.3 thousand. So, yeah. So it will be a while before I get to 10 unless something mm -hmm. amazing happens. And <laughs> I pick up a bunch of subscribers somehow. And uh, so, yeah. Beauty but, Bubble, thanks for uh, subscribing to my channel. Oh, you're very welcome. And it's not like follow for follow. It's one of those things that you know you're led. You're led to, you know. For me, I'm led to do something, and and there's always something to learn. I find people on YouTube absolutely fascinating. Mm. Um, and it doesn't matter if you know your particular genre. Um, I you know I've su I subscribe to more people. Eileen Eileen kind of turned me on to you know, subscribe to people because it may help you in your own journey. Right. I get to read your about page. I get to see how you title things. I get to see how you, your setup is. Um, like even Tom Markham, I know that he's kind of being very kind of shy. Um, Tom Markham is just like Bo Allstroop. Um, there's a couple of people that are Larry Snow even, and I don't even, I don't mean even Larry, Larry Snow, man, his videos blow my mind. Every single time that guy goes, every single time he uploads a video, my mind is blown. I would have never known that. I would have mm -hmm. never, ever thought. So meeting you today is a complete joy and pleasure. And it's fun. It's and, fun I, to I, don't know, I don't know if you, um, say again. No, I was going to say, I think we've met before, actually, because I followed you. Know. Oh, yeah, because you, you probably saw Kamari on Blab. But, you know, uh -huh. Kam Kamari actually is my in real life friend. He's, <laughs> he's, you know, I've known him since, well, were you a teenager? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And so here, Larry is saying that he's got over 300,000 views. Woo! Wow, wow Larry. <laughs> See what I mean? So mm -hmm. it, it's really the journey of aspiration, you know, that it, 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 we all have to kind of help each other along. And it's not the same lock and step at all. Eileen's road has been just incredible. Mine is much more bumpy and, and weird and, you know, all of that kind of thing. Roberto Blake, for example, no one would have ever thought. Um, Ross Brand never thought to go on camera, ever. He didn't, he was a radio guy, did not want to be on camera. And now, you know, he's paid talent over at Be Live now. He gets paid to go and, you know, he gets paid every week to, to live stream for Be Live, which Never. didn't exist right? when Eileen and I met each other, right? That didn't even exist. Well, so. I want to do a quick screen share, guys, to show you TubeBuddy <laughs> app. Because I know I've talked about TubeBuddy many, many times before, but they have this incredible app. Now, to, so you can check your stats on the go and all of that. But one of the things that you get to see, and I'm going to click on the little cup that looks like a trophy, the trophy cup. Yeah. And that's where you see your milestones. Oh, so, how cool. Like even for my daughter who just started a, a channel for her better than success, mm -hmm. she's got milestones in there, you know, a hundred subscribers or 200 subscribers, you know? So mm -hmm. even when you only have, um, uh, a smaller following, you still have milestones. And this is important to get this, like 300 mm -hmm. uploads milestones. I didn't know 
that I had 300 uploads until I saw that here on TubeBuddy. Mm -hmm. So that's why I started paying attention because I saw, I think the first one, not the 800,000, I think when I saw the 700,000, no, it couldn't have been because they didn't have the, uh, the app back then. It must have been the 800,000 one, which was six months, six months ago. And I actually had early access to this. I was a beta tester. So um, that was uh, when I started paying attention. I was like, well, I got a shot at, you know, yeah. <laughs> more than that. <laughs> so let me shut this down. I, well, I, know, I know Roberto uh, loves uh, to buddy. What is it like 25 bucks a month? Or something, 20 bucks there a you month. have different plans, but you just go to Eileen dot link <laughs> slash two buddy. Now you, know you got okay. to do it that way. All right. <laughs> uh, and if that doesn't work right now, right now. I'm it should, down. yeah yeah it should be that one but i can't put it in the chat because if you put a chat put it in the chat then the chat the live chat disappeared youtube has this crazy rule about the live chat replay and you if there's mm -hmm. links in the chat then it doesn't work so i don't know why they did that but is that from you putting that what about anyone anybody, else anybody no links no links I and I, you know, I haven't tested it because the last since they came out with that feature, I haven't posted any links, so I didn't test it out with anything. But yeah, and then someone says, Is that a hula hoop in the back? Hey, Reg, oh my gosh, one of my patrons, another one of my patrons is here, Reg 1167. Hey, 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 yes, that's a hula hoop in the background. I just wanted to be different because I normally. <laughs> Have it on the other side of the room, and I was like, you know what? Maybe that'll I remind need a hula me. hoop in that corner. Maybe that'll remind me to take my behind to LA Fitness when I get off of here with y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I have a dumb question for you. No, you no have, questions. A dumb you, question. It is. You'll just wait till you hear it. Okay. Do you have a, a Patreon video? Yeah. Because yeah. I'm thinking about it. Or that's or four. Said, that's why. Or yeah, four that's why or five. So, okay. <laughs> I'll go seek those out because I've been thinking about yeah, using Patreon. Yeah, yeah. You got to and start. You have to think about it for five minutes, and then you just have to get over there and start building your page. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I even have a, an audio yeah. on the podcast about you know Patreon. I talked about it for like three or four episodes mm -hmm. of my Anchor podcast. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is why Kamari Patreon is a different sort of a creature. And it takes a long time to kind of understand really what the value is. And this is this is what I have found. I get to now say I'm over at Patreon. Right. We're over at Patreon. And it has this kind of thing about like we're headed there now. It has a, des a real destination, um, the concept of people being over at Patreon. And that there's so many creators that have fleed we'll look at Phil DeFranco as the example. They left YouTube's, the promise of being able to be supported by the AdSense and so forth. And they went over to, to Patreon. And so it has this kind of very accepted way about it now. Oh, and okay. get to, man, you get to express yourself. I, I mean, Eileen can talk to you about this for hours, you know. But um, it's very, very cool over there. I and I that's why I'm saying you think about it for five minutes, dude, and then just go and start building that page. Yeah. Don't even look. Don't even look back. Okay. Well, if I think about it for five minutes, that'll be too long. I could only do it for one minute because I like to analyze it. And they also have the Patreon lens now, which I actually didn't do one for my patrons today. But it's just like Instagram <laughs> stories. Well, you know, when I say just like, it's not just like it. You don't have all the bells and whistles and all that. Oh, but you, it's you. just to see behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. And as a matter of fact, let me take a picture right now of how messy all this is because I was showing all my gear. So now I have gear all over the place. I've got like three micro, four microphones over here. My webcam is over there. So you y'all can't see that, but my patrons will. <laughs> Well, I just told my wife the other day I'm commandeering one of the rooms in the basement to make it a full fledged studio. So I plan on going my own. 
and and oh, how did God. that how did that conversation go? Did well, that go? I was well? I was about to say. Let me rephrase that because I said <laughs> <laughs> the shoe was flown I, across the room. Yeah, that was that was my ego and my <laughs> macho coming out. You know, like I'm the man. I'm beating my chest. I asked. <laughs> Humbly, behind the scenes, I, can I use uh, this room for for, uh, for broadcast? And I promise not to drink soda drinks and bring down food plates. Well, she know that she knows that would be a lie. <laughs> Yep, yep, yep. Oh, congratulations. I, I mean, so oh. many people, you know, they need that space to close the door and and uh, and know that it's just them and their audience. I yep. did not get answers from you guys. So I'm going to call you out. Reg. Ooh, Ooh super chat. Ooh, 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 look at that. So you Wait now, here. you really Wait get to see minute. it in action. I will screen share to show you. So super chat for the superwoman. Thank you. Oh, Matt. no, for a superwoman. <laughs> for a superwoman. Okay. Yes. Thank you, beauty. Mm -hmm. and see how it's also highlighted up, <laughs> up there. <laughs> Guys. Wow. That? That's right. awesome. Yeah, isn't that cool? Come on. Cool. Yeah. We're all going out for steak dinners now. <laughs> so now I'm going to add, I'm doing the poll again. Reg, have you used a new YouTube? Because Reg goes on live on YouTube from his phone. Okay. Have you used a new option to go live from your computer? And Larry, I know Larry's used it. I already watched his video. Me you too. Video too. Carla, have mm -hmm. you used it or are you going to use it? Tom, are you going to use it? Hope you guys are still here. Says I got nine viewers. And uh, who else may still be here? What about it's DJ Derpy? Are you going to use it? I don't see anybody typing anything in the chat. You guys have just got to do it. We'll be there. Title it a certain way. And I know I will look for you and come over and say hello over to your chat. Because yeah. we're all subscribing to each other. Yeah. And um, now that Reg is here, be sure to subscribe to Reg's channel. He's got, oh, uh, Tom, Tom said, I don't know. Okay. Tom, well, Tom. Oh, my gosh. Tom, Tom, what's holding you back? Yeah, Tom. What's holding you back? Um, you know, like, all you need is a computer. <laughs> no, Tom has to be spoken to in a different way. Now, hold on just a moment, Eileen. I'll handle Tom. <laughs> You're about to get it, Tom. <laughs> Tom, come on now, handsome. <laughs> oh, he doesn't do videos. He's got a YouTube channel. He just doesn't do videos. Okay. It's not a video. It's a webcam. <laughs> <laughs> get that out of your head. It's a webcam. You don't it, have to come on cam just like beauty does. Exactly. You veil your or, camera. And you could just I say, could. I could do this. What can you do? Oh, she can hula hoop. That's I what know. She's I put do down now. my cover. I put down my cover. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So right, right, right. I could, if I, of course. We could all go podcast mode. Yeah. Watch this. <laughs> Kamari, go podcast mode. <laughs> you have to put your finger up over top of your. <laughs> or <What's post> <laughs> That's, That's where the you other way for me to go. Put my iPhone up in front of it. Well, I don't know where your camera <laughs> oh, is. Oh, oh, I got you. I got you. <laughs> Yep. So yeah, you know what I mean? So you don't have to go on cam, but it's called webcam, but you don't really have to go on cam for those of you who are still That's camera right. shy. There you go. Okay. Just like beauty. It can also be unlisted too. So basically you can have, you can use it as a walkie talkie in a way if you wanted to. I know you like Blab better. We've, we all liked Blab better, but we're doing our best by re-networking. We're re-networking using I the features. I cannot believe, you know, that. this is about the fourth or fifth time I've heard <laughs> Blab used. Oh, no, I get, that doesn't count because three of those were beauty. <laughs> I, love, I love Blab. I know. Oh, come I'm on. I loved know. It, but I've heard someone else talking about it besides us. And uh, it's just like, can, I, I cannot believe that. It's, and someone asked me over on Vaudel. Vaudel is an audio app for iOS. And it's not a podcasting app, though. It's a social audio. And so I was talking about Anchor and saying that, you know, how some things reminded me of Blab. And then someone said, what was so special about Blab, if you care to say? And I couldn't even do it. 
the, oh, hurt, but, the hurt is still real. Well, no. it's no point in going back there because, uh, you know, first of all, like <clears throat> it's never going to happen again. Is it back? No, huh? Oh, I thought it was. No, 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 no. The person asked me what was so special about it. And I said, hey, Rob, Rob Fuzz, what's happening? Don't forget the A, Rob, (laughs) I-L-E-A-N-E. Oh, great to see you. I guess some folks are coming over from um, Nick Nimmin's stream. (laughs) But, you know, it's just one of those things that's just kind of irreplaceable, but we knew that when we were over there, that there was going to ever never be anything like it. But, uh, you know, this hangouts is kind of what look what we're using right now <laughs> is kind of what a lot of people left Google plus and fell in love with blab because there wasn't this difficulty of, you know, what we had to, what I had to do today to set the stream up. Mm-hmm. So once YouTube starts letting us let people come on cam with that webcam feature without me using the event, because I, I believe that this whole Hangouts thing is going to go away, right? Because people don't really use it. Um, through Google Plus, because you can set up an event in Google Plus, but people don't really use it that way. So, people that have business accounts with Google are still using the Hangouts. Uh-huh. That's different. They pay. <laughs> I have a quick question for you. Yes. Um, some of the videos I did through Google Hangouts don't show viewer account. Now, they're a couple of years old, so maybe it's because of prior release. But can you show viewer account when you go live? Will viewer account show up? You mean you don't see the stats for them when you're looking through your analytics? Is that what you mean? No, I can see the stats, but the actual views. You you want to know who's actually in, like how many people are watching right now? Is that what you no, mean? No, so, so let's say this video right here, you, you put it up, it uploads. And then when I go to the very front page of it, I usually don't see the view count. Um, maybe because your archive isn't fully archived, that could be one thing. So you have to let it rotate for a few hours. That might be one. Mm-hmm. The other one is that when we do use the YouTube forward slash webcam, they do give us a view count. They do? Okay. They do up on the upper left-hand side. Now, if it's reliable, I don't know. That's why you take your YouTube link and you double-check on YouTube to make sure that you know it's picking up. And you get that link from your share. Okay. So when you when you go into your share button, and even though it says you can share to all these places, you can stop right there and then copy and paste your YouTube link. Right. Gotcha. And uh, but I would double check and then make sure that you give it a few, you know, give, give it give it a little time so that you would know what your view count is. Because I've been very surprised because it's a new feature that there's actually people that are coming back now. They they did more rewatch replay viewers the first couple of times that I did it. Now it's less because more people are, you know, they're doing their own work. Right. Um, they don't need to, you know, see the cockamamie stuff I'm doing. Um, but uh, yeah. So just so, give it, maybe give it a little time. So real quick, I do want to answer Rob fuzz and yes, Rob, <laughs> Rob is asking, mm-hmm. you know, he's mentioning how easy it is. Cause Rob is another live streamer. Mm-hmm. And let me just, um, screen share on that chat real quick. Oh, I'm going to run over to Rob. Rob, did you put it in public? I would love to see what you, what and, you were able to uh, do. With it. Yeah, I am technical, but find all this so complicated. <laughs> okay, that was Tom, not Rob. Rob is saying he did, you know, it is just like your phone. It's using this webcam feature, and I didn't mention that earlier, I don't think. It's just like going live from your phone except there's no filters. Uh, Other than that, it's almost the same look and feel to the interface. You can, you know, upload a thumbnail or just take a selfie and then use that as a thumbnail for the video. But, you know, what I always recommend when you go live on your phone, 
or if you use this webcam option is to have your thumbnail already created. You can use Canva if, if or Photoshop, you know, however you do. I use Photoshop, but I, I only know enough Photoshop to make a thumbnail. Oh, you can actually use TubeBuddy. You can create thumbnails inside of TubeBuddy as well. So, oh, wow. <clears throat> yeah. So, oh, okay. Rob said he just made it private because it was a yeah. test. Just noticed it last night. Very cool for beginners. Yeah. That's yeah. why I'm talking about, you know, so much because I see a lot of folks that just went for it and just started using it right away. And uh, so I'm not using it right now, Rob. <clears throat> just to clarify, I'm actually using the whole uh, hangout or events, YouTube live events, because I wanted people to come in on a panel and you can't do that with this new webcam feature. Not yet, but that's coming. Yeah. It is coming. I think it's coming anyway. <laughs> that's not an official. It's coming. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, I got to do some work. Got a bunch of taxes. Yeah. So thank oh, you. Yeah, Thanks so it's so nice to to meet you in the right way through Eileen today. Come on. Absolutely. She's a super connector. Yes, she definitely <laughs> is. Thank okay. you, my dear. Okay. Well, I'll be back. All right. So look, real quick, I got to ask you, are you planning to go to podcast movement? I am. Okay. I oh, wow. We got we to gotta save our, we got to save our coins so we can go. Cause it's yeah. here. Like it's here in Philly. Like how can we not go? <laughs> are you presenting? No, I, I didn't submit to present because I wasn't sure what was going to be going on. So I just was like, you know what? I really just want to go as an attendee. Okay. All right. Well, we'll have to get Very that. cool, sure you guys. Together. All right, my dear. Oh, they have, a, they have a Facebook group. Oh, they do? You know if you want in. Yeah, please. Yeah, okay, I'll add you. Any, I'll add anything, you. anything you think will be beneficial for me, you have car blocks to do. Oh, okay, my dear. All right. <laughs> All right. All right. Bye-bye. Y'all and have a great Saturday. Okay, bye bye. Thanks, Kamari. Okay, I'm writing myself a note. Add Kamari <laughs> to PM group. And later on, I'll be like, what's PM? Podcast movement. <laughs> and for those of you who are interested in Anchor, um, you know, there's been a lot of folks that have been talking about deleting Facebook. Now, yes. know, nobody's going to probably do that except Elon Musk, because I heard he just deleted his page oh. on a, based on a tweet. But I say all that to say today we were talking over on in the Facebook group for Anchor, you know, our little community group called Anchors Away. And I asked people, you know, if we were to leave Facebook, where would we go? And so Google Plus has been the choice. And uh, so um, I set up a community over on Google Plus for Anchor. And I will share that link after I put some content on there. Cause I did that like, as I was also setting up this YouTube live video. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, so I just did it. I just wanted to get it out there and then I'll put some content over there later. Cause you know, I mean, people do get frustrated with, with different platforms and uh, Facebook being one of them. And so I wanted to have a place because, you know, I, I have a lot of friends that are still using Google Plus. It is still um, a viable platform. Well, Eileen, let me drop out and say goodbye to your audience so that you can, you know, yeah, yeah. do your lovely ending and everything. And then I will see everybody over at chat. And thank you once again for bringing me on on the panel. I've had oh, well, thank you so much that. for your contributions. And this is exciting times. Okay. Bye. Okay. Bye. Bye. So guys with that, I want to wrap up real, you know what, real quickly, since, um, is there anybody who just got here who doesn't know how to use it? Now I think you guys all know how to use it already. I'll put my test live if you want to see it. Okay. Thank you, beauty. And Rob, if you, yeah, if you go ahead and put it live for a few, you know, for so folks can see it. But what I want to tell you guys, like always, there's two ways that you can get in contact with me. And if you want to email me, if you want to email me, you will go to EileenSmith.com slash contact. And if you just want to give me a voicemail, you don't have to use Anchor if you don't want, but you can do it on Anchor. But if you don't want to use Anchor and you want to leave me a voicemail, you have a question, you have some burning idea that you want to run past me, you will go to EileenSmith.com slash voicemail. 
and I'll have links to these in the description. And so with that, guys, I want you to have a wonderful day. I want to see you using this new feature of YouTube, which is youtube.com slash webcam. I want to see you live streaming because you guys don't have any excuses. I've gone over all my gear. So you can go to my Amazon shop if you need a mic, if you need a webcam, you know, just take care of it. And I hope to see you guys live streaming soon. And I'll see you next weekend for the next live stream here on the channel. So with that, peace.